We can use the ruins to cross the ravine. Assuming they will allow it, the Echoes have a will of their own.
jealous about Yote, Joshua. She's strong-willed, loyal, and deadly with a blade. Much like Clive, but with better manners. To now then bound for the free cities perhaps oh no need to say if you'd rather not we all have our reasons ain't exactly feeling like sharing with strangers myself at the mo truth be told we could do with a bit of inspiration don't know which way to turn no more was doing a roaring trade back in oriflam right up until the poor drake lost her noggin so thought it'd try me luck in the desert and the fang went the same way. And don't get me started on the mess in the blooming Dominion. Suppose I could try Camber next. But knowing my luck, the old place be crawling with the works before I'd even set out me stall. But as I always say, where there's crisis, there's opportunity. The opportunity to mint gill, that is. So, where to next? Is there any money to be made in Ash? Do orcs even carry Gil? I do. Where are you off to now, then? Bound for the free cities, perhaps? Oh, no need to say it, brother. You're injured. What happened here? Where are your comrades? The ether flood up ahead. It swallowed our camp while we slept. My own men did this. Turned. Every last one of them. There's a village not far from here. Tabor. The people were kind to us. It's only a matter of time before they won't stand the chance. We can't let those monsters reach the... Someone has to warn them. You're... What? I'll go. You catch your breath. Thank you. Our encampment is up ahead. Just off the track. They must not reach... Tabor. Forgive me, Lord Kuka. Rest well, soldier. You said the encampment was close. Let's hope the Akashic are still there. Another ether flood. They're everywhere now. We can't go around it. 
Then we'll just have to be careful. Someone there! Please, I, I can't move my leg! That doesn't sound like an Akashic. You're with the battalion? Fighting. Are the others taken care of? One of your brothers in arms told me what happened and asked for help. Another survivor? Where is he? <laughs> Tell me. His wounds were too deep. <sighs> he was right to send you. Those things you slew are no longer my brothers. Tabor is safe, thanks to you. Here. You've earned it. You seem familiar. Have we met? You must have me confused with someone else. Wait. That scar. Son of a whore. You're Sid. I was there in Kostnitz when you killed my brothers. I was there in Rosalith when you killed my commander. My war with Hugo Kupka is over. I bear no ill will toward those who followed him. What of my ill will? Coward! Draw your steel. Lord Kupka shall be avenged! Fine. If you insist. For Tyson! Strike a man who cannot defend himself. No. <laughs> I won't be deceived. Lord Kupka told us of your crimes. You are an outlaw. A murderer, not some... <laughs> some... Man. Like you or anyone else. I am nothing like you. But if you're not gonna kill me, then go. 
Leave! Just know that I will find you, Sid. Someday. We're nearly there. Have you been to Tabor before? There are a few places I haven't. Welcome, travelers. We don't get many visitors here in Tabor. Welcome, travelers. We don't get many visitors here. Where now, Joshua? There is a residence just inside the city gates. She awaits us within.
My Lord Marquess, it is an honor. I am Yote, Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of His Grace Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix. Uh, of course. It all makes sense now. Would you care to elaborate? The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations, albeit from the shadows. Since their inception, they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events at Phoenix Gate, it was the Undying who delivered me to safety. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. Rise, Lady Yote. You saved my brother. I owe you a debt I can never repay. I but did my duty. Come now. Tell us what you've discovered. Your Grace. It is as you feared. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. It was the Ein Herjar. Beyond any doubt. The Black Galleon. Joshua. The Ein Herjar is the Royalist's flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sensed the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva? Then it is Waluda knights who besiege the cities. What is left of them? Yes. And the Black Galleon sails up at one man's behest. Barnabas Tharm. But are we truly safe here in the Agora? The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave, Lord Minister. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame, blackened house choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. The Rome teeters on the brink of chaos, and all you can think about is commerce. Forgive us. We were not aware Dalmechia now subsisted on charity. How dare you? Distinguished members of the council, you must forgive His Majesty this intrusion. What did you... What is the meaning of this? A trifle crowded, but I fear it will have to serve, my liege. Very well. My colleagues, do you not see? The king, he has come to save us from the Akashi. is a gift from the heavens, divine intervention, our very salvation. And of course, if it is compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Your Majesty, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of Walud. <laughs> ha! So you do not deny it. Guards, fetter them, and see our guests to the dungeons!
Enough. Imagine yourselves worthy of salvation. The girl is still here, somewhere in the city. Her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. A consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn. See that he is made welcome. Yes, your majesty. Thus, surely the prince's light cannot have sated you. So then, how long has Walud been under Ultima's control? How long indeed? Based on what we know of Barnabas' actions, I would guess some few years, mayhap more. But to what end? What does Ultima want? The tapestry. Show them. Drake's breath, and now here. But what is it? It is old, ancient, even. Naught's remains of the faith it represents, save what can be gleaned from the image itself. None could tell me what the one in the apodotry meant, even the undying. But I believe it may be the key to discerning Ultima's purpose. That figure in the center, the one beneath whom the icons congregate, that I believe to be Ultima. He is a god, or at least godlike. His very existence beyond our ken. The icons, and by extension their dominance, are meant to be his subjects. And while some, like Barnabas, have accepted this role, others have rejected it. Like you, Clive, which is rather inconvenient, as it appears he needs you most of all. And gods don't like to be disobeyed. No. I don't suppose they do. Clive, may I tell Yote of the lake? By all means. Yote, I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Omia lost Delan to his sag Ilith. Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to... As it has ever been my brother's duty, remember. If... if that is your wish, your grace. But please be safe. If aught were to befall you, I... You have my word. Farewell, my lord, my lady. We are in your debt, Yote.
Let's find our friends. It's plain she cares for you very deeply. And I her. Which is why I had to let her go. Here, take a look at my wares. A fine choice. Of course. A fine choice. Anything else? Go safely. Fleshed a hundred skins today. Stay focused, will you? Opportunity beckons. What brings you to our humble village, young man? If it's our artisans you're here to see, then please. But do try not to interrupt their work. What brings you to our humble village, young man? If it's our art. Is that blade for hire, perchance? Because I have a mind to make a killing. Figuratively, I hope. Well, yes and no. A passing caravan carried with it a rumor most fortuitous for one in my trade, that an elder Dread Evis had been sighted in the fields of Karava. Dread Evis are aggressive beasts. Compelled as they are to acts of violence, few survive to maturity. But those that do develop a hide of phenomenal value. A hide you want to sell? Eventually, yes. Though, I would have it tanned first that it might be crafted into marvels the likes of which the world has never seen. Dread Evis skin is a rare thing indeed. But the worked hide of a well-aged beast? Now, that would fetch such coin that Gilbot himself might weep with envy. Bring me that beast's skin and I will share with you the bounty of our combined labors. A pity. I had not judged you the type to turn your nose up at such a fine proposition. Is that a dre uh, dread ring? All right. I'll hunt your Evis. Of course you will. When one lives in such troubled times, it is a fool who lets opportunity slip his grasp. Leave Tabor through the east gate, but take the path that branches west. Once you reach the checkpoint at Tovany, you are a mere stone's throw from the fields of Karava. I eagerly await your safe and, above all, triumphant return. A fortune in skin and scale awaits any man with a will to claim it for his own. Leave Tabor by that path and venture west. The ancient beast roams the fields of Karava, not far from the Tovany Gate. A fortune in skin and scale awaits any man with a will to claim it for Forgive me, Traveller, but no matter how deep your pockets might be, we only sell to trusted patrons. I do hope you've not had a wasted journey. Forgive me, Traveller, but no matter how deep your Here's the scraps you are after. Thanks. You can go inside if you want, but stay quiet. Yeah, they're polishing the stones for shipment. Any sudden noises and they might drop one. You can go inside if you want, but stay quiet. Yeah. These aren't ready for sale, if that's what you're thinking. And I'll thank you to keep your hands to yourself. These aren't ready for sale, if that's what you think. These inquiries been hard to find since the sky's turned. It does indeed. Can't blame the beast. Thank you for the deal, Ed, mister. Mummy made a pottage for it. Sounds delicious. I actually might be around to try it. Have you noticed here? Mm. And a scratch on them. 
You wouldn't happen to have a decent whetstone in there, would you, madam? I'm sure I can find you something. All of these stones have a... So it's these stones to Canva, and the rest of the boxes to Dalamy. like him always are, aren't they? How are those new boots treating you? They're fantastic. Soft as fingers. You! They're tough as the strapping bone. lad with the sword. Finally. No one was paying me the slightest heed. Is something wrong? At the university, the students would hang on my every word. Sadly, this far from home, I'm just a vagrant greybeard. The university? You're a scholar. A specialist in ancient cultures. The most accomplished in all Valisthea, some have said. Not that I look the part in these tattered rags. In my heyday, no obstacle could have kept me from my studies. Yet here I am, a wizened windbag, bested by the many steps of Tabor. The answers I seek lying just beyond my enfeebled reach. Would you do an old man a kindness and brave the stairs in my stead? You'll be amply rewarded, of course. Oh, come and find me, should you change your mind. I suspect I shall be here for some time. Finally, sir, the... Climb the stairs, and... And memorize a few inscriptions for me. Uh, assuming you know your letters, that is. Uh, some courteous soul is rumored to have carved clues to Tabor's rich history into stones dotted about the village. Uh, three of them, to be precise. Uh, one each to the north, south, and east. I'm here in the hope that those carvings might shed light on a riddle I've been pondering for some time. Namely, the otherwise undocumented origins of Tabor's unique people. A people quite unlike those of neighboring lands. I can't promise I'll remember everything perfectly. Remember what you can. I'll piece together the rest. Make for the domed pavilions, and you'll have no trouble finding the stones. If it wasn't for those domed roofs protecting the stones from the elements, the truth of Tabor's history would have been lost centuries ago. If it wasn't for those domed roofs protecting the stones from the elements... Farmers must have settled here in Tabor. These inquiries been hard to find since the sky's turned. It does indeed. Thank you for the deal, Ed, mister. Mummy needs a pottage from it. What golden plains might the wanderers have called home, I wonder? Have you noticed the Elder has been mm. Got a scratch on them. So it's these stones to Canva and the rest of the boxes to Dalamil. Why won't 
the sky go back to how it was. I don't like it. Nor do I, dearie. No history would be complete without mention of the Mother Crystals. I should speak to the old scholar before I forget everything I've read. Well, scholarly. How are those new boots treating you? They're fantastic. Soft as Phoenix down. The engravings were in good repair considering their age. Oh, what that I could have seen them for myself. Oh, come, don't tease me now. What did you learn of this place and its people? Uh, let's start with the engraving to the south, shall we? Oh, what did it say? Guardians of the Crystal, the first stones of Tabor, sacred hold thy noble blood till ends the mother's labor. I'm pretty sure that was it. Fascinating. It would seem the founders of this city were descendants of those fallen charged with protecting the Mother Crystals. But oh, whatever could have driven the Guardians so far from their sacred charges, I wonder? The engraving to the north is next, I think. Wanderers of the Golden Plains, lay your roots in stone. With pride recall thy noble past, and make these rocks a home. Or... I think that was it, at least. No doubt you're right. There are vestiges of nomadic customs in Tabor its guardian roots could never account for. This is proving most enlightening. Now, for the final stone. Children of the Hunters, now tillers of the land, reap her promised blessing and give praise her gracious hand. That's all three. And so, we add primitive farmers to Tabor's founding peoples, the final piece of the puzzle. Three engravings, one for each of the three peoples to have settled Tabor in ancient times. Guardians of the Mother Crystal? Wanderers from across the plains, and last but certainly not least, hunters turned farmers. Little wonder it was so difficult to trace the roots of Tabor's culture. Those roots reached down through three distinct traditions. Nonetheless, one cannot help but wonder why this fact is not better known among scholars given that the stones stand here for all to see. Too many stairs, perhaps. Ha! Too many by far. Here, and thank you. For years, I have pondered the mysteries of Tabor's founding. Would that I had made the journey as a younger man, when stairs held none of their terror. For years, I have pondered the mysteries of Tabor's founding. Would that I had made the journey as a younger man, when stairs held none of their terror.